Hello Lalanders, it's me Princess Maluki and I'm here with a part of our animal series. Today we're going to talk about the crocodile. What do you think about crocodiles? You like them? You find them cool or maybe a little bit scary? I do like crocodiles. Uh, one day I went to Gambia and then I was able to touch one of them. But I think the crocodile was sleeping. Actually, I'm not very sure. But somebody was there to watch everything. Well, let's get started. Crocodiles are found in many places around the world. Africa, North and South America, Asia, and Australia. Altogether, there are 14 species of the crocodile family. From a large saltwater crocodile to the small African dwarf crocodile. Crocodiles live mainly in and on the shores of rivers, lakes and wetlands. Here you see them all floating around. Crocodiles can adapt itself to survive in their wet life with their canoe shape and their strong tail that propels to the water. Their skin is tough and scaly and covered with little bumps that helps it send movement in the water around it. And the nostrils, ears and eyes stick out from the top of its head. This lets the crocodile hide most of the body underwater but it can still see, hear, and breathe. Crocodile, they have eyes with see-through lids. They're called nictating membranes. They clean the eyes and they protect them. At the back of its mouth, a crocodile has a special flap that keeps water from running down its throat and into the lungs. And this way, the crocodile won't choke while keeping its mouth open to catch the prey. You don't want a choking crocodile, right? Wow, look at these teeth. Crocodiles are meat eaters. They have big teeth and strong jaws that they use to capture and eat other animals such as fish, birds, and mammals that come to the water's edge to drink. You see? Looks like it is eating a bird here. Crocodiles are reptiles. Their body temperature changes with the temperature of their surroundings. But if it's too cold, they'll find a nice sunny spot to warm them. And when it's too warm, they'll look for shade or water to cool off. Crocodiles grow throughout their lives and may weigh more than 500 pounds. The saltwater crocodile can grow to be more than 16 feet long. That's longer than a minivan. Wow! But the dwarf crocodile grows only to a length of 5 feet. A crocodile begins its life in an egg. The mother lays dozens of eggs in a hole and then covers them with sand and plant material to keep it warm and protect it from lizards and other dangers. And a couple of months later the babies are ready to hatch. And then you'll hear them making noises. That's how the mother knows when to dig up the eggs. I wonder how these noises will sound. Maybe something like, Mama, I want to come out. Mama, I want to come out. <laughs> the young crocodiles stay with their mom for several months. And she will teach them how to swim and catch insects and small fish. But sadly, 
most baby crocodiles become meals for other animals. Uh-oh, that's not good. But the ones that survive may live 50 years or more. Wow. Adult crocodiles spend most of their time just lying around, chilling. They move if they need to find food or a mate or a warmer or cooler spot. Then they crawl with their bellies touching the ground. But they do move fast. When they found something to eat, they can move fast all of a sudden. Crocodiles eat many kinds of animals like fish, snakes, turtles, zebras, and deer. They swallow small prey in its hole. And often they tear larger prey in pieces by biting and spinning around in the water. Mm -mm. Sometimes crocodiles work together to catch food. Wow, what a teamwork! Because crocodiles don't need to use much energy to move around or stay warm, they can go six months or longer without eating. Wow, we cannot go six months without eating. Every once in a while, crocodiles swallow stones. Oh, did you know that? And they swallow stones to help it digest and grinding up the food in their stomach. Over the years, people have also hunted crocodiles. In the 18th and 19th century, purses, shoes and belts made from crocodile leather became very popular in the United States and Europe. Many wild crocodiles were killed so their skin could be made into leather. People in Asia used parts of crocodiles to make medicine to treat health problems, like asthma. Others were killed for food or for fun or because they were disliked. Eventually, most crocodile species became endangered. But luckily, many people in Australia, Africa, and other areas are working today to make sure that crocodiles and the habitat they live in are protected. So, that's good. Some people call crocodiles the last of the dinosaurs. Yeah, they do kind of look like dinosaurs, huh? Yeah, I think they're beautiful animals. They are kind of scary in a way but I think we should protect them we don't want them to you know become endangered and that they eventually won't exist anymore that will be very sad well I hope you all liked my video and I hope you subscribe to my channel and I will come up with more videos about different animals so that you keep on learning new things about beautiful creatures. Bye-bye!